Hi and welcome back. In this video on better measures and accuracy, we are going to look at classification metrics and regression metrics. These are ways to quantify how good or bad our models are performing. Classification metrics are obviously for classification problems and regression metrics are for regression problems. One of the measures that we have been seeing so far is called classification accuracy. It is the number of correct predictions as a percentage of all the predictions made. It is suitable only when there are equal number of observations in each class and all the predictions and prediction errors are equally important. Now let me explain that with an example. Imagine if there were 100 patients and 90 of them did not have cancer and 10 unfortunately did. In that scenario, if we said that none of the patient had cancer, we'll still get 90% accuracy. But we'll make a horrible mistake of incorrectly classifying the 10 patients. Another metric we use in that scenario is called a confusion matrix. A confusion matrix is an n cross n matrix where n is the number of classes being predicted. Some of the properties that it has is precision. It is a proportion of positive cases that were correctly identified. Recalled the proportion of actual positive cases which were correctly identified. Now let's see this in the form of a code. Here I have opened my folder section 3 underscore 2 which has two files index.html and index.js. Index.html just like all the other files has HTML and body tag, a diff tag and a header which is also pointing to my index.js file. My index.js file has some of the code from section 2.5 where we first import ML matrix library then we build a logistic regression classifier. Here we take two sets of input the training set and the test set. Here I have reduced the size of the training set and the test set so that I can demonstrate the accuracy as well as the different confusion matrix parameters. This is what the test data looks like. Next, I create a logistic regression with two classes instance and train it using x and y and store the final results in a variable called as final results. To get the accuracy, we loop over the final results and compare each element with the same element in Y test. And each time we get a match, we increase the count of matches by 1. We then output the accuracy as accuracy equals to count by final results into 100. Next, to create my confusion matrix, we need to find out the value for true positive, true negative, false positive and false negative. Where true positive is the number of predicted values that my algorithm got right and which was actually positive values. True negative is the number of negative cases that my algorithm predicted correctly. Similarly, false positive is the number of predicted cases that my algorithm predicted positive but was in fact false or a negative case. Similarly, false negative is the number of cases which my algorithm predicted predicted to be positive but were in fact negative. Now let's see how we find out each of these values. Just like the previous time for accuracy, we iterate over final results. If the final result is equal to Y test, we check if it is equal to 1 or a positive case. If it is positive case, we increase the number of 2 positive by 1. Else, it is a negative case and we increase the number of 2 negative by 1. Similarly, if it is not the same as Y test and it is 1, we increase the number of false positive by 1. 
and if it is 0, we increase the number of false negative by 1. We then print it out on the console. Next, we find out the precision and recall values. Precision is described as the number of true positive over the total number of positive that my algorithm predicted. So it will be true positive, true positive plus false positive. We also find out the recall, which is the number of true positive over true positive plus false negative, which is out of all the positive values, actual positive values, how many of them we got right. Now let's see the output on the console. We do parcel.index. Here, just like the previous times, I have already done an npm init, then created my two files index.html and index.js and installed my necessary dependencies like ml matrix. So then I hit enter. Here my accuracy is 60. The number of true positive is 4. The number of true negative is 2. The number of false positive is 4. False negative is 0. Therefore, my recall is 1 and my precision is 0.1. We can also use the confusion matrix class present in MLJS library. Here, it works in a similar way and you get these values. Positive predictive value, the true positive count, the true negative count, the false positive count, the true positive rate, the true negative rate and we can also get the accuracy. Next, let's look at the regression matrix. Now let's look at regression matrix. One of the values is mean absolute error and mean square error. Another is R squared error. Mean absolute error is the sum of the absolute differences between the predicted and the actual values. With this, we can understand the magnitude of the error, but not the direction. Mean squared error is a squared difference. Blooper. Mean squared error is a squared difference between the predicted and the actual values. The square root of the mean squared error converts it back to the original units. And this is called as the root mean squared error. The R squared error is a proportion of the variance in the dependent variable that is predicted from the independent variable. This value ranges between 0 and 1 where 0 indicates no fit and 1 indicates a perfect fit. In the next video, we'll see what these results mean in understanding the results.